Amazon Prime Day 2 is here and also new X fantastic sale. So if you are looking for the best gaming PC builds, then this is going to be the perfect video for you. I will show you the best PCs with the best deals from Amazon Prime Day and also from new X fantastic sale. I'll go over 1080p, 1440p and 4K resolution gaming PCs. And I will also show you the level of performance that you can expect when buying one of these systems, which by the way, will be down below in in the video description with the latest prices, availability and the best deals. My name is Valentino, that being said, let's start. The first PC in my opinion is the best value gaming PC overall in this entire video because you are getting basically the best price to performance gaming system especially for 1440p resolution. So if you want to play at 1440p and you do not want to spend a lot of money then this is the perfect system. I will get to the level of performance in just a second but I want to say that this system is so great because of the CPU and GPU combo. For the graphics card you get the RX 7800 XT which is going on an insane discount for $430. This is the cheapest price I've ever seen for this graphics card and the 7800 XT is one of the best 1440p gaming GPUs out there. In terms of the level of gaming performance, you can expect well over 100 FPS on average at 1440p resolution in high demanding games, high to ultra settings. And then if you want to play at 1080p, you can play very high frame rates and I'm talking about over 120 FPS in the most high demanding titles out there and you can also play at 4k resolution depending on the game and depending on the settings this is not the fastest 4k graphics card in the market of course so if you want to play a game like cyberpunk 2077 ultra settings with no upscaling on at 4k then this might not be the right system for you but if you want to play popular games like gta 5 valorant cs2 these type of games you can play at 4k with no issues and you will be enjoying a very smooth level of performance now alongside the 7800 xt you need a capable c CPU that will not bottleneck your graphics card. And for that reason, I went with the Ryzen 5 7600. This is one of the best price to performance value CPUs in the entire market. It will not bottleneck the 7800 XT and in high CPU demanding titles like let's say you want to play Fortnite competitive settings or performance mode. Well, in those type of esports games, you can expect well over 240 plus FPS on average at 1440p resolution. And if you want to play at 1080p, you can expect 360 plus FPS so you can easily fit a 360 Hz 1080p monitor or 240 Hz 1440p one in case you want to compete. For the rest of the components you get 32 gigs of DDR5 memory which is amazing for streaming and content creation on the side. You get a one terabyte SSD and then for the case you get the Apivia Prism case which has plenty of print style fans, great airflow and an amazing price. Now the total price by the time of filming is $1100. Now remember that maybe when you're watching this the prices are different so you will have the latest pricing and availability in your region from the links in the description but anyway $1100 for a gaming PC that will be amazing for basically any resolution and high to ultra settings is actually great and that's why I call this one the best value gaming PC build. By the way throughout this video I will give you bonus PCs in case you want a budget system or you want to spend more than the most expensive system but I will get to that in just a second. Now if you want to play at 1440p but you want to achieve very high FPS or you want to play at 4k resolution and you want a great price to performance 4k system the next one is the one for you and I call this one the best value 4k gaming PC slash 1440p very high FPS because you get one of the fastest graphics cards in the entire market for 1440p resolution and 4k in terms of price to performance in the RTX 4070 Ti Super. This graphics card has 16 gigs of VRAM so it's capable of 4k resolution with no issues and it's one of the best performing graphics cards in the entire market for just any resolution. I have tested this graphics card myself and you can expect well over 120 FPS on average at 1440p resolution in the most high demanding titles by the way and you can expect 70 plus FPS at 4k in these same high demanding titles so you can play at 4k in high demanding games with no issues and especially if you want to turn on DLSS which is the upscaler from Nvidia and works amazing at 4k in that case you will be achieving even faster performance at 4k 
resolution. Then for the CPU, I went with the same Ryzen 5 7600 because we want to keep the great price to performance. And as I said before, that CPU is one of the best value CPUs in the market and it will not bottleneck the 4070 Ti Super. On top of that, since you are on the AM5 platform, you can easily upgrade that CPU to a faster one down the line without having to replace your entire motherboard. For the rest of the components, you get 32 gigs of DDR5 memory again because that's going to be plenty for gaming and streaming. Then you get two terabytes of SSD instead of one terabyte, so you get to install more games than the last system. And last but not least, you get the Fantex XD Pro Ultra case, which is an ATX case with plenty of fans and it's one of the best value cases in the market because of its airflow and price. In terms of esports games, you can expect 300 plus FPS on average at 1440p resolution, and I'm talking about games like Fortnite competitive settings. But if you want to play games like Valorant or CS2, you can expect well over 400 FPS at 1440p. So in that case, you can easily fit a 360Hz 1440p monitor. And the price for this entire system is 1436 by the time of filming. So that's a pretty good price for a system with the 4070Ti Super. Now, I want to mention that you can also go AMD and go with the RX 7900 XT graphics card, which is going to perform basically the same as the RTX 4070Ti Super and it's quite cheaper. So if you want even better value for gaming, the 7900 XT is going to be better. However, keep in mind that you lose some of the NVIDIA features. So if you want to turn on ray tracing or you want to have DLSS as your upscaler because it works better than AMD's FSR, which is the upscaling technology from AMD, then you should spend the extra 4070 Ti Super. But if you want pure price to performance, then the 7900 XT is better. And if you go with that GPU instead, the total price for this system is going to be around $1,316, which is an amazing price because you can play at 4K resolution with no issues or 1440p very high FPS. Now, before we get into the best 4K ultra gaming PC, I want to say that if you are finding valuable information so far, subscribe and hit the bell icon. That way you get notified when I upload new content and you get to learn more about computers. Now, the next one is the best 4K ultra gaming PC without spending the max amount of money that you can spend on a gaming PC because of course you can spend more money. You can spend around 3000 bucks and get the fastest performance. And I will get to those type of systems later on this video. But if you want to keep the price under $2,000 and achieve the fastest performance that you can at 4K resolution, then this system is perfect for you. Or if you want to play at 1440p, very, very high FPS, or you want a future-proof 1440p gaming system. And the reason why this one is so amazing is because for the graphics card, you get the RX 7900 XTX, which is one of the fastest graphics cards in the entire market. Actually, it's the second fastest graphics card in the market in terms of rasterized performance. And then for the CPU, you get a Ryzen 9 7900X, which is one of the best CPUs in the entire market in terms of both gaming and content creation at the same time, just in case you want to do content creation as well. Then you get the usual 32 gigs of DDR5 memory and two terabytes of SSD. So that's plenty for gaming. And you get an Antec case, which has pre-installed fans. In my opinion, it's one of the best looking cases in the entire market and you get plenty of airflow. Now, in terms of the gaming performance, you can expect 90 plus FPS when it comes to 4K ultra settings in high demanding games with no FSR on by the way. So this is native resolution and you can expect well over 500 plus FPS in esports games because you get one of the best CPUs in the entire market for gaming as well. Now you can go with Nvidia for the graphics card, but that's going to be a bit more expensive. And let me explain why it might make sense for you to go with Nvidia. The total price for this system with the AMD graphics card is going to be around $1,800 which makes it one of the best price to performance high-end computers in the market, especially if you want to play at 4K ultra settings. But if you want to play with ray tracing enabled, just like I said before with the 4070 Ti Super, if you want ray tracing or DLSS, which works better than FSR, then going with the 4080 Super might be the better option, but it is going to be around a hundred dollars more expensive. Or if you are a content creator, I do recommend you searching your favorite programs. Most of the content creation softwares work better with Nvidia or 3D rendering or or productivity applications in general. So in that case, the 4080 Super might be the better option. Now, the price with the 4080 Super is going to be around $1,950 by the time of filming. Maybe when you're watching this, the price is different. But honestly, whether you get the 4080 Super or 7900 XTX for gaming, both are going to be amazing and you will have no issues when it comes to 4K high to ultra settings in high demanding games. Now, in the video description, you will have three bonus gaming PC builds. One of them is going to be under a thousand dollars in case you want a more 
budget oriented gaming system that one is going to be ideal if you want to play at 1080p very high fps or if you want to play at 1440p on a budget then you will have the best value esports pc which has the fastest cpu in the entire market and it is not as expensive as these two thousand dollars gaming systems that i'm mentioning so if you are into esports and you just want the highest fps for the price that one is ideal for you and the last one is going to be the fastest gaming pc in the market so if you want to play at 4k ultra and you want to achieve the highest fps and most importantly you don't care about the price that one is going to be ideal for you because you are going to be maxing out the level of gaming performance and content creation or productivity work as well so once again those three bonus pcs will be down in the description and i will be updating every link that way you get the latest deal with the most updating pricing and availability in your region and then if you don't want to build a pc yourself let's say you want to buy a pre-built pc instead then i recommend you watching my video on the best prime day gaming pre-built pcs where you will find amazing deals in terms of price to performance for pre-built systems for 1080p 1440p and 4k you can find that video in the top right corner of the screen or in the video description as well thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one